Thank you so much for joining me uh, today. We're going to explore a little bit more into your college prep toolkit. Um, just as an advisory for everybody, we'll be putting on about six different programs um, throughout the summertime to help you prep uh, for your college search, to your application process, to getting to know a little bit about you. And that's what today is all about. Um, today, we plan on really discovering who you are and who are you really. Um, we're going to explore personality uh, assessments that'll help kind of tailor your college experience to yourself. Um, if you'd like to shout us out on any social media, you can use UC Identity uh, to do so. Uh, but today, we're going to take uh, a little bit of time to assess our personalities. So let's talk about some learning outcomes. This is all talking about you. This is all about you today. We're going to use the 16 Personalities Evaluative Tool to understand our personalities through the intuitive Myers-Briggs assessment. If anybody has taken a Myers-Briggs before, um, this 16 Personalities is going to be something very unique, and I'll explain that a little bit later and why it is unique. Um, but super cool. We're going to learn a little bit about ourselves today. So we are going to also take a look at and dive into briefly each assigned personality grouping based on the letters you get in your assessment. Um, so we'll take a look through those. We'll see what are the differences between each grouping um, and all that kind of good stuff. And then we're going to take that and we're going to use our personal results to interpret how that can inform our applications to colleges, our, our decisions to colleges, and some of our life decisions, which is going to be really cool. I'm very excited to have you guys join me on this journey today. Um, so a couple of quick things before we really get started um, is if you're interested in chatting me privately, um, one of the ways to best do that is to go on your keyboard and click Alt H, or there is the chat function in the middle of your screen. Um, so that will be great if you need to talk to me if you're struggling with the link because let's assess ourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 15 minutes to complete the assessment at this link. You'll actually see that both the link is in your registration email um, and uh, you can find it in the chat in this group. Um, so feel free, you can go ahead, uh, head to that link. And if you have any issues, feel free to let me know. I'm going to put on some light music. Uh, fill it out as honestly and personally as possible. So I'm going to open it up to you guys to go ahead. Um, this should be what the top of your page looks like right here, free personality test. Um, again, if you have any issues, let me know. There should be a hyperlink in your chat. I'm going to go ahead and start the music again, uh, and you go ahead and fill that out for me. I'm putting 15 minutes on the clock. So we will rejoin at 11.20. Welcome back, everyone. How was your trip? I hope it was great. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about yourself and you have your results in front of you. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, so I'm very excited to have you guys join me on this journey. Um, but there's a couple of things before we really start to take a look at our results. Um, one of the biggest things that I want to tell you is that your results can change at so many different points in your life. Um, there are going to be a lot of things that shape you, uh, a lot of things that happen to you, both good things and bad things that can help kind of shift your personality a little bit. Um, and we can talk about those a little bit later as we dive into the Myers-Briggs letter system. Um, and something else that I also want you to know is that, you know what, I'm not going to be the person to do this, nor is anybody who's going to boil you down to a bunch of alphabet soup. No, 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 you are too special, you are too unique, you are too you. Um, let these results be more of a guide to you than they are to, you know, to dictate everything about your personality. That's not true. There's so much about you that is unassessed uh, in this uh, big piece. And if you have thoughts or ideas, send them to Myers-Briggs. Maybe that's a whole a uh, lot of cash that could come your way through that personality assessment. So let's dive in. 
Um, we're going to dive into a little bit later the different types of the 16 personalities, the four groupings. Um, but first, I want to go over a little bit about what the Myers-Briggs letter system looks like and what it means. So I made this lovely infographic for you to make life a little easier. So I want to start with uh, your eyes and ease. I'm sure you're all you know, interested to know if you're an introvert or an extrovert. And I'm sure that uh, you have definitely been told you're one thing or another. Uh, one of the biggest things I want to share is being introverted or extroverted doesn't mean that, you know, you are like to be alone or you only survive in large crowds and being the center of attention. That's not how it is. It's really about how you recharge your batteries. Um, and I'm sure you've all had the experience. Um, for me, actually, surprisingly enough, I'm an introvert. So I recharge my batteries uh, alone. Sometimes reading a book, sometimes watching a show, or in small groups. Um, but extroverts recharge their human batteries uh, in large group gatherings. You know, those are the people who, after a long week of work, um, might want to go out to celebrate that in uh, a party or um, out on the, the town for an evening. Um, so that's what I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking about introvert versus extrovert. It's all about how you recharge your batteries. Next is sensing versus intuition. Now, this is about how you absorb information. I bet you everybody's a little bit different in how they do that. Um, so basically, do you rely on something tangible? Um, you know, all of your senses, sensing, um, something that has to be heard or tasted or seen. Um, these are people who like to, uh, when they're sitting in a classroom, it might be more hands-on. Um, that's the best way that you absorb information. Intuition, um, like myself, um, I'm an intuition person. I like to deal with abstract concepts and ideas just with my big old brain um, and there is nothing wrong with either or of these um, but it's just how you you know more properly take in the information for yourself so i hope that makes sense to you again if you have questions feel free to shoot them to me in the chat uh, to everyone as well um, but let's dissect this a little bit more let's talk about thinking and feeling so Thinking and feeling uh, is essentially how you operate your decision making as a part of your personality. Um, so for people who think, um, you know, this is, these are my cost benefit analysis people um, represent, right? These are the people that are making thoughtful lists and evaluations of everything to make sure that they go ahead uh, and, you know, use their thought processes to help develop uh, the way that they make decisions. Now, my feeling people, what's good feeling people, um, you know, your first thought is always, how is this thing making me feel? That's how you're going to make that decision. Um, so we'll talk about this a little bit later, but your college experience is similar to that. Are you somebody who is taking a look at, well, you know, how much is it going to cost to go to this college and will they give me a, you know, good return on investment? Or is it the first time you step on campus and you're like, this is it? I feel it, you know, these are my Ursuline shoes and I'm ready to wear them. So those are my thinking, feeling people. And then I'm gonna talk about judging versus perceiving. Um, and this is all about reactions to plans. Um, you know, it, how you plan out your future or how others plan out the future. Um, I like to think of it as a vacation. So if you're somebody who is judging, a J, um, you know, you are into a more planned out list of activities. So if you're going to the beach, you are, you know, going on the boardwalk for this amount of time and you are going to buy souvenirs for friends and you have that scheduled out and then you're going to go to dinner at precisely 6 p.m. Hello, judging people, that's you. And then for our perceiving people, um, you know, you're more engaged when something is a little bit more off the cuff. When somebody says, hey, we're going to road trip this weekend, it's time to go. Um, that is where you're like, that's it. That's where I want to be. Something that's less structured, which is opened up to more whimsy. Now, something unique about the 16 personalities is that they also include something um, versus, called assertive uh, versus turbulent. Um, and essentially what this is, is about your temperament. Um, now, people who are what we consider assertive, uh, 
um, are usually pretty cool and collected under pressure. This is all about kind of being under pressure or when your personality gets challenged. So my assertive people, you're like, hey, I'm cool. This is good. Here we are. Um, and But, you know, my turbulent people, you're like, I should have done this better. You're thinking through and thinking through a little bit more about how best you could apply your personality uh, to that situation um, under all that pressure. So I hope that definitely makes sense for you. It's a strong alphabet soup, but it really helps you uh, when you get to know a little bit more about you. So let's dive in a little bit more to our results. We're gonna kick it off with my analysts. Um, with a show of hands or a, you know, in the chat, if this includes you, hello analysts, how are you? You will see that these four groupings, the way that they differ is not in the letters, but um, the overarching personality type. So my analysts are rational, they're impartial, and they're intellectual thinkers. Um, you know, an, a notable analyst is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, represent RBG, am I right? Um, she sits in debater and architect. She goes in between the two. Um, but for my architects, you people are analytical. You are really good with geometry. Um, that's where you sit. Things that make sense are important to you. My logicians are um, people who really like data, who like diving into those sort of things, who really like that cost-benefit analysis. Commanders are sort of our natural born leaders who understand both the big picture and the details to get us to that big picture. And our debaters, well, they are the very thoughtful and thought provoking people who are like, um, anything I can argue on, I'm gonna argue on. And if that sounds like you to a T, awesome, as, you, as you're looking at your results. Uh, and if it doesn't, that's totally okay too. And we'll review that in a second. My diplomats. Um, my diplomats are empathetic, diplomatic, and they have a passionate idealism. Um, these are like the heroes of your stories. Um, this is your, your Aragorns from Lord of the Rings. This is your Luke Skywalker from uh, Star Wars. Um, you know, it's also me. I'm an advocate. Hello, advocate. Look at that fancy white beard that I do not have myself. Um, but Let's talk about each one of these. An advocate is somebody who is strongly interested in what comes next on a bigger scale, on a bigger picture. Um, very deeply rooted in social justice. Um, and that seems to be me, our mediators, our you know, mom friends of the group. I'm sure everybody's got a mom friend. Um, and those are the people that keep everybody cool, calm, and collected in your friend groups um, and take care of you. Our protagonists, like I had mentioned earlier, um, these people are the strong, morally centered people who are usually seen as uh, the big leaders out in front. Um, and our campaigners are our friendly people uh, who always have a mission behind what they're saying and doing. Our sentinels. Hello, sentinels. I hope you are there. Um, our sentinels are very similar to our. Um, analysts. Uh, however, we'll kind of talk about what their differences are. Um, our logistician uh, is somebody who's very detail-oriented, um, but can see the big picture um, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and these are, are more practical and stable people, whereas our analysts, they might have creative thoughts and ideas uh, around, you know, kind of what are those next steps? What is that big picture? Um, these people are very good at delivering a product. Um, and for a logistician, um, that might be somebody who would do really well in supply chain management. Our defenders, uh, our nurses, our caretakers, um, these are people that know the things that they have to do to take care of other people. Our executives, we'll think of our executives as um, executives. Uh, these are people uh, who are extroverted, um, but are very business oriented. They are very practical. Um, and I like to think of them uh, a lot as teachers, especially math teachers. And our consoles are people who um, tend to uh, use uh, favors and, and giving as a means to an end. And of course, last but certainly not least are our explorers. If you're an explorer, um, even if you're an introvert, 
uh, or an extrovert, you are relatively in the middle when it comes to your extroversion. Um, and the way that is, uh, these are my spontaneous, ingenious people, uh, and they live in the moment. Um, if you identify that as this, awesome. Um, and let's talk about these people, shall we? Uh, the virtuoso is somebody who is well knowledge in one particular thing. You tend to focus on that thing. Say if you're a guitar player, you excel at being a guitar player, and what you'll do is you'll challenge the norms and the status quo. Our adventurers, I like to think of our adventurers as artists, and so do 16 personalities too. Um, these are the people that uh, have big, brains full of big creative ideas um, and you'll find that expressed in their everyday life. Our entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs um, and I, this is previously me when I was in college, um, are people who are like running for mayor of nothing. Um, entrepreneurs are strongly rooted in interpersonal connection with people um, and making people feel good. Um, and potentially, if this is you, it might be a great field to go into owning or starting your own business um, or campaigning uh, as a political official. And then our entertainers, our tap dancers, the people in the group that like the center of attention to entertain everybody, get them laughing, all that kind of good stuff. Those are our entertainers. Our strong and bold explorers, that's what they are. Um, so. We had shared a little bit about ourselves. We know a little bit more about how our personality assessment reflects on us. So let's talk about how that relates to college. So your personality can help guide some of the biggest pieces about picking and choosing a college, and that's your decision making. It's also gonna help inform a little bit about how you're gonna communicate within the college itself um, or uh, outside externally. And it's all about where you derive your passions. So, how does this make any sense on anything? Well, there are a lot of different colleges and they all have different cultures, different personalities themselves. And if you have one that kind of falls in and fits with your personality type or your need for a, a culture that reflects your own personality, um, this can help inform your college search. So I want you to consider these questions as they relate to your personality assessment and to college. Do I want an experience that is socially intensive or not? Um, and let me describe that for you a little bit. If we take colleges like Penn State, The Ohio State University, um, those are big social institutions um, that are focused on the hubbub of people around it. Um, if you feel like you know living in Ohio, or for me, where I come from, Penn State, Penn State is not just a college, it's a culture. If you're looking for something like that, that's definitely gonna be more on the extroverted side. Um, or if you're looking for a smaller college experience, you know, do I wanna experience something that is a little bit more focused in the study and a little less on the socio social ability? You might look for a smaller school, um, like for example, Case Western University uh, or Ursuline College. Do I enjoy more speculative work in the classroom or something more hands-on? So let's chat about this. Um, are you somebody who would like to sit in a classroom and discuss some literature and discussing thoughts and ideas? Or are you looking for a career field or a major or a classroom that is gonna be more hands-on? Another example for you. Um, if you decide to attend a smaller liberal arts institution, similar to Ursuline College, you'll find that we, though we have both, uh, you'll find that there is a lot more speculative work in the classroom. Um, you're going to be dissecting thoughts and ideas along with any of the lab processes that you do, um, say, particularly as a nursing major. But if you're looking for something more hands-on, something technical, you're looking for designing robots, um, or you're looking for nursing labs where you are in the lab 24 seven, well, there will definitely be a college that is fit for you and how you take in information. Am I looking for a college with the best deal or how it makes me feel? So let me give you an anecdote for this. Um, a 
where I've worked previously, um, I had two students on a tour one day. Uh, one student was interested in finance and one was interested in studio art. Um, we walked through campus and my finance student just asked only questions about cost benefit analysis. Like, for example, will you fund my study abroad trip? Um, will I get access to the gym with my uh, membership as a, as a gym membership as a student? Um, and my art student said, uh, wow, the trees are amazing. It smells so great here. Um, it is a sensory experience for that person. So are you looking for something that is the best deal or how it makes you feel? That's something that you really have to consider for yourself. And, you know, both of these things are going to be really important. Um, you might find a college that makes you feel really good, but is very pricey and vice versa. So definitely that's something to keep in mind about your personality and understanding how you can answer that question for yourself. Do you want to execute a plan for selecting colleges? Or are you just going to wing it? Um, you know, I think this is pretty self-explanatory and this is talking about our, our planning people um, and uh, you know are you interested in kind of dissecting for yourself you know what this is going to look like um, in your college search these are my top tier schools these are my middle schools these are my reach schools um, or are you going to say I know that Rebecca for my class is going to Ursuline College so I'm going to apply there too um, or you're going to rely on your other senses to help kind of develop what your college search looks like. And then last uh, but certainly not least um, let's see if I can yeah so how is your experience going to be affected by answering all of these questions for yourself. Um, so with that, let's talk and dive into a little bit of the Ursuline experience. Um, so Ursuline, you know, we're all about making your world more. It's our slogan and I think we stick to it. Um, and one of those big pieces uh, is that really your Ursuline experience is designed around how you want it to be. So no matter what your personality type is, there's a fit for you here at Ursuline. So that's something to definitely keep in mind as you've joined us today. Um, you know, we have in the lab hands-on experiences, we have speculative classes, we have cost effectiveness, um, but we also have a place that'll make you feel really good and make you feel like you're at a college. Um, so with that, I want you to keep that in mind for yourselves. So, in your toolkit, it's all about making your experience yours. Uh, and what I wanna share with you guys is that um, as we wrap up our presentation here, um, your personality can help inform your college decision. I hope that's been kind of made clear with the speculative questions that we've asked and answered. Um, but what I also want you to take a look at is the rest of our toolkit is going to give you an experience um, towards what your next steps look like. Uh, the nitty gritty skills of honing your applications, your college essays, choosing the right college. Um, but it's also good to understand, you know, where am I approaching this? So we'll also have some more workshops on that. Um, but I hope today you took away an idea of what your personality is and how it fits into your college decision and search. So if you have questions, uh, if you want to visit us, uh, you can, we have just recently opened up for uh, college campus visits. Um, I implore you to email us at admission at ursuline.edu. Um, if you wanna go uh, dive even deeper into your 16 personalities assessment, I would love to do that with you. Feel free to email me at admission at ursuline.edu. You can also visit us at www.ursuline.edu slash events for more information. Uh, and you can always check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Um, if you want a particular good suggestion for a YouTube video, I do a back-to-back -back chef uh, with our uh, chef of Metz Dining. Um, we make some breakfast sandwiches and we talk all about nutrition, something really interesting for you. So. I hope you learned a little bit more about your identity today. I really appreciate you joining me here on this Friday. Um, if you have questions, shoot them out to the email. And thank you so much for joining us.